right, good morning. So actually today I don't have too much time. I'm going to be taking a friend to the airport soon. So we are going to learn today the chromatic scale, which we don't need our ukulele today. It's actually more studying and more memorizing things. So let's get started. Alright, so basically what we're going to learn today is the order of notes. So for example, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, or A, A sharp, E, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, E, F sharp, A, G sharp, A. Okay, now it's kind of like numbers where if I told you what's after 2, you're going to say 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 6, and 7, except we don't use numbers. So if I say what's after A, you're gonna say A sharp. What's after that? B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp. Then after F sharp, G, G sharp, A, back to A, a sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E, F, J, and just continues. So, if you went on a piano, and I told you, okay, hit this white note, and you go, ding, and it goes, okay, that's A. The next note, the black note, that's going to be A sharp. Next to the right will be B, next will be C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, K. Now, the easiest way to remember this is I want you to say this. Okay, first of all, it's just A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, now, in between each letter, say the previous letter and sharp. So, A, A sharp. Okay, for now, just say B, B sharp. C, C sharp. D, D sharp. E, E sharp. F, F sharp. G, G sharp. A, A sharp. Repeat. Okay, so just get comfortable saying that. A, a sharp. Next letter, B, B sharp. Next letter, C, C sharp. D, D sharp. E, E sharp. F, F sharp. G, G sharp. Back to A, A sharp. B, B sharp. C, C sharp. And so on. Now, just remember the word B. B and E, okay, they do not have sharps. Um, sharp. Don't have. <laughs> okay. So you don't say B sharp, it goes straight to C. And you don't say E sharp because it goes straight to F. Okay, so B and E do not have sharps. Okay, and all day, just practice saying that in your head. A, A sharp. B, oh, B doesn't have a sharp, so C. C sharp, D, D sharp, E. E doesn't have a sharp, straight to F, F sharp, G. G sharp, and after that repeats back to the beginning. A, A sharp, G. Okay, so just look at my ukulele right here. This is A. So this would be A sharp. B, there's no B sharp, so C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp. Okay, Going. Let's start with E. Okay, what's after E? Not E sharp, but F. F sharp. G. G sharp. A. A sharp. B. C. C sharp. D. D sharp. E. Okay, and C. C sharp. D. D sharp. E. F. F sharp. G. G sharp. A. A sharp. B. C. Okay, and last one, G. G sharp. G, G sharp, A, A sharp. 
sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. Okay? So, I'm not asking you to remember the name of every single note on every single string. Okay? I just want you to remember the order. Okay? So, if I said, what's after F sharp? You should be able to say G. Okay? Quickly. What's after E? Say F. What's after C sharp? D. Okay? And you want to practice it just so it can be just as natural as numbers. Right? Like you don't have to think. What's after 4? 5. What's after 6? 7. What's after 2? 3. Okay? What's after G sharp? A. Okay? So just kind of say it in your head throughout the day. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, K. And throughout the day, just kind of get it down. And this is something really good to know, okay? So even though this won't, you know, directly translate into a song, this is knowledge. And if you want to tune your ukulele, you should know the name of the strings, G, C, E, A. So if you're pretty close and you pick your string and it says E, but it was supposed to be G, then you know you have to go higher. If you tune it higher, then it's going to go to F. Tune it higher, it's going to go to F sharp. Keep tuning up and it's going to go to G. Okay, so work on that today and easy lesson, just study. So if you'd like to study, this is the one for you. Okay, have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow. Woo!